While looking through some storage boxes this past weekend, I found this old relic. An Xbox 360, which was the console that got me into gaming. With Black Ops 1 being my first game, and then Lego Batman, and this weird game called Pier. But it also got me into Minecraft. I had played the Pocket Edition before my iPod Touch at the time, but this thing really changed it all. And I can still remember exactly how my first experience went playing it. which made me realize how valuable this old console was in my hands. It wasn't just an outdated Xbox 360. It's where I played Minecraft as a kid, which meant it had all my memories on it. So I went on a mission to find all my cords and I found them. Then I realized I had no controller. I don't know where that went, but it was gone. So I bought one off Amazon and then it arrived, which means that I can crack open the vault of my first Minecraft worlds ever and take a glimpse of my childhood. And I wanted to take you guys with me. So let's go check it out. Oh my God. The Xbox 360 boot up was crazy good. Man, this is so weird to be on the screen again. Okay, let's go to my games and let's boot it up. Oh. Wow. Holy crap. Hold on, I gotta look at one thing. Let's change skin. Oh, bro, what is that? <laughs> bro, I miss skin packs so much. Like, I know you can just equip whatever on PC, but there was something about being limited to these packs that made it so fun. And oh, we got the birthday skins. Why is the skeleton following me? <laughs> oh, man, there's a short-headed villager skin. And then the Nightbird Before Christmas skins. These were kind of crazy, actually. From the shadow skin, but what the? I don't remember this one. Bro, that's terrifying. Ah, yes, pirates. This is fire <laughs> adventure time oh here we go battle and beasts there is some classics in here and all oh, this game was so much fun to use being like a little tiny gas and oh i remember i used to use this one i love the red panda and oh whoa that one's fire and okay i wasn't really into fallout as a kid but these are sick what i would so buy this today man there were some good skins let's not delay it any longer if i play game it should all be there. So let's do it. Holy crap. I remember all of these. A Hero's Journey was my first world ever. And it was because of Captain Sparkles was like first series. And then, oh God, my name is Jev. I think uh, that one's pretty self-explanatory. And then Pixel 2.0 was like my server. There were no servers on Xbox 360, but I made one. And oh man, we're gonna have to check all of these out. I am so excited. And then if we go over to create, we have all of these bangers. Like Mojang would just make these Minecraft worlds with good texture packs and drop them. Whatever happened to that? But all right, let's take a look at my childhood i really want to go in this world but i think we should save it for last so let's go into fun oh boy what will this be the suspense is real right now holy crap these load times are insane this part i did not miss but okay it's so close and we're in oh god why did i just hear villagers die and why is my whole inventory enchanted oh my god i even enchanted the arrows called hell's arrow then we have the minigun diamond combat knife Betty. Real ones know why that's named Betty. Notch apple, valid. Doom pearls, okay. Fire stick, lava in a bucket, okay. Good job, young me. And a lighter. <laughs> now what else do we got going on in this world? Oh God. Yep, this is about how the 12 year old mind works. Cakes everywhere. And wait, oh my God. I made this world with my cousin. Oh, this was like a little paintball arena we made. Oh, okay, it's all coming back now. Bro, this is insane to see again. But this is about the entire world, I'm pretty sure. So let's go check out another one. Ooh, let's check out Hunger Games. This could be good. Bro, this one's taking forever. But yes, we're in. And oh, it looks like the tutorial world. Oh my God, I remember that. Yo. Okay, so we have third, second, and first place. We got the whole ring of spawn places. We got the middle with loot. And then this giant dragon. Okay, I'm gonna prove to y'all how well I remember this. If we just right click here in the lava, we get some OP loot. And like low key, this dragon is not that bad. It's like throwing a fireball and everything. And then okay, a bedrock border. Oh, that's a maze over there. Holy crap, this is so cool. Oh, and then we got this little area. Yo, I was going crazy. Hold on, hold on. I remember something over here. Somewhere in this room is a button that opens that door. Oh, right here. Yeah. All that for some booty loot. And then, okay, I got this giant pyramid over here with villagers everywhere. Uh, okay, I'm not sure why I did that. And then we got like a little village in a treehouse. Oh, man, I remember this. Dang. I made this place hella OP. <laughs> and there's Betty again. And every music disc possible. Bro, this treehouse was lit. And, um... 
Okay, so I think I made like half his village TNT. And then outside this border, I was experimenting with stuff, it looks like. Oh, and then we got a little hockey rink with spectators. Oh my God, this is awesome, dude. And then another village. And okay, here's the maze I was talking about. Yup, I remember making this. But can I solve my own 12-year-old mind maze? Oh God, what was that? Okay, I found a door. Oh, I think it's a dead end. Oh God, no, I think I went the wrong way. Why did 12-year-old Fryer make this so hard? Oh, wait, looks like we found it. Need to do a little bit of parkour and bam, get some loot. Oh man, seeing this brought back a lot of memories. Can't even imagine how long it took me to do all of this. All right, let's check out another world. Okay, it's gotta be Five Nights at Freddy's. What did I create? <laughs> let's find out. Oh, I think it's about to throw us in. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so these are the four beds for the animatronics, like the players playing them. And then they would come over here and grab their loot. This is actually kind of fire. And then I guess they drop down. And oh my God, bro, where's the stage? All right, so I missed that part, but I got the party tables. And then I think this was supposed to be Foxy's. And then this is just a closet. And then this is the security room. And oh, wait a minute. I think all of these pressure plates actually activate the lights in there. I was cooking up some ideas at 12. <laughs> was that my god was that a horse and then yeah that's about the entire world unfortunately but loki this had potential you can see my vision let's go check out something else how about my name's jeff this one i have like no memory of as of right now this was just a fever dream let's see if anything comes back to me okay i kind of remember this i think i might have only played this one time oh wait what uh oh oh no oh no it's coming back and i don't know if i can move forward <laughs> if you can't tell it's one of these worlds oh god well let's just peel off the band-aid so we got the super epic house with 69 right by the docks and then oh no what is this horse named okay so i have some saved ones here max that's pretty tame that that one that was not a safe <laughs> oh god so which one did this horse end up with Yep. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Don't look. Oh, God. What's the cat's name? Oh, okay, Max. Sweet. Thank God it's nothing crazy. And oh, I found Hell's bow. We had Hell's arrow earlier. And then, okay, the one other thing I've been trying to hide from you guys is, um... Dirt man. I used to build this guy in a lot of my worlds. But okay, then we got this epic bridge, little unfinished treehouse, and then this actual crazy mansion. What the? Wait a minute now. I was cooking. Damn. Man, this one was kind of cool. And seeing old glass makes me hate it. Like, it's really nostalgic, but it's so bad. And okay, I think it's time we close out of this world. That one, that was a bad one. <laughs> Bride screw it. Let's do the tutorial. This should be kind of cool. Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, no. This is like the tutorial after the tutorial. No, 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 no. Get me out of here. And okay, so after this clip, I took a break from recording. And then I got a haircut. How we looking? And I just wanted to address that for some reason before I kept on with the video. So let's hop into some more worlds. And wait, actually, before we do that, I want to see the achievements that I got. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. So I think these were all the original achievements. Like this one, play for a hundred days. And uh, this was a tough one. In my first world ever that we're gonna see in a bit, I got this there. Oh my God, and then this one. Bro, this one drove me crazy. You gotta use a saddle to ride a pig, then have the pig get hurt from fall damage when riding it. Which today is insanely easy. But back in my day, there was no carrot on a stick. And I don't even think pigs cared about carrots. I'm not even sure carrots were around. Oh, wow, I got my first nether portal May 13th of 2012. It's now 2024. Oh, man. And befriend five wolves. Oh, okay. That means I have dogs that have just sat there for like 12 years. Oh, then the cake is a lie. That's a goaded achievement. And then, yeah, all of these came after my time here. But let's hop on in. Man, these boot times are crazy. But okay, where to next? Skyrim won't be that interesting, I don't think, because it's just the world from here. Then there's Water World. Yeah, what the heck is Water World? I'll find out like 10 minutes after this boot time. All right, we're in. Oh, oh, God. So I immediately saw that I had TNT in my inventory. And what the why do i have enderman eggs and villager eggs something's telling me i was doing bad things here and then what's up with this gold building what the heck it's just pure randomness and i was just placing buckets of water like there was no tomorrow that is all there is to this world man being a kid was great but okay let's check out survival island this is another one of those worlds i just don't really remember much from oh what just happened oh this one had a texture pack okay what do we have here so it looks like i was experimenting with the redstone oh and holy crap it works oh wait Ah, actually, 
Yeah, I'm not sure that would work. So that's great. And then is this my house? What is this? Oh, okay, okay. This texture pack's really weird. But I guess I can see the vision. I was going for a different kind of style with this build. But then, yeah, I think that's it. Another pretty small, weird world. But all right, what the heck is Battle Dome? And oh, okay. So I was building a bedrock wall around this whole part of the map. And then it looks like I had a red team and a blue team. And I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be another Hunger Games map, basically. I do kind of remember this, but this is just one of those weird ones I did for like one day. But now Castle Escape, what is this? Wait, this looks fire. What? Yo, did I actually build this? Holy crap. Because I definitely remember the farm over here. But I don't remember building all of this. But this is really cool, actually. Okay, we got a lever. What's that do? Okay, not really sure what those lights are for. Oh, we got a mine cart. I'm down. Oh, what the? Okay, so I think this was a work in progress. But man, this map's actually really cool. Especially these buildings over here. They're like the barracks or something. And oh, wait, what's this? Oh, God. Oh, the explosion was recent. At least to the same. And there is TNT and redstone in my inventory. Don't tell me I just uncovered where I think I uncovered, bro. Was I the kid who ended the two-week Minecraft session because I decided to blow up things? No! Bro, if this was me, that's a huge L. Or maybe I was trying to make it look like we were at war on this side? Because, oh, okay. We do have a pirate ship right here. Okay, okay. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> this pirate ship's kind of fire. Wait, what's this? Oh, actually, this was probably the edge of the world right here once upon a time. The world back then used to be tiny. Okay, then we got a village on fire. And then we're back to the castle. Bro, this world was awesome. I just really hope we didn't stop playing this because of this. This better not have been me. I wish I knew that one part because this will haunt me a little. You know, what the heck is this? Wait, wait, I thought we were done. What's going on here? A random little chest? Huh, okay. But W world, W world. Let's go see what else we got. Let's go check out stuff. I wonder if this will have anything good. Sweet, we're in. Oh boy, it's a flat world. We got another blue versus red thing. Looks pretty unfinished. Then we got a bedrock cube. And then, oh, this is an old TNT cannon. It looks like I ended up breaking it, but we did get a few out there. So that's cool. And then, yeah, that's it. That's just how some of these worlds are, I guess. But okay, let's do pixel and then a hero's journey. Because I know that these two have things in them that I want to see, especially hero's journey. Well, let's see what pixel has in it. I definitely remember the spawn area pretty well. But I can't remember if that was it or not. Oh, snap. Dang, I had a whole game. Oh, oh my God, it's all coming back. That over there is a prison, similar to the one in like the old Minecraft YouTuber prison videos. And then this was like a little Sky Wars. Oh man, this is pretty cool. And then over here is a spawn. Oh no, I accidentally went to the nether. You can see some spaces I had planned out for things like mega parkour, zombies, archery practice. And then what? What's over here? Okay, some jukeboxes. And, oh, spleef. And, oh, man, the old zombie pigman. This is what a real pigman looks like. Not that dang piglin. Okay, let's go back to the other spawn. And, oh, yeah. Got a little parkour while you wait. And then some signs. All right, ask the host what you want to play, and you will be teleported. Here are your choices. Sky Wars, Cops and Robbers, Hunger Games, PvP, Host XX Crazy Duke XX co host Baka Master 000. Bro! I'm getting exposed out here. XX Crazy Duke XX was my old name. And Baka Master was my cousins. So him and I built all of this. And right here is the last building to check out. And oh man. I loved Cops and Robbers as a kid. And you can definitely tell it's inspired from like the one map. Wait, wait, oh my god, what? Oh, we were like recreating it. Because yeah, you got the showers. Wait, do they turn on with the lever? Oh! Fire. And then this is the cafeteria. We got a nice little basketball area. And then the kitchen. We got some stairs and a library. Where did the stairs go? Oh, this must be the way out. Yeah, this is the end. That was pretty cool. And this one was awesome to see again. But now it is time to go to my first Minecraft world ever. And this one, I remember everything about. So let's load into it. Bro, I'm so hyped. I played this world all the time. And it's been forever since I've gone back into it. It's like the other worlds were really cool to see. And I remembered some of them. But this one's definitely going to hit different. I just know. And I can't believe it's 12 years old. I would have never thought that when I made this world, I'd be doing this right now so this is just crazy and if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching if you guys like the longer form of content please let me know but oh my god we're in holy crap this is my house <laughs> that terrible enchants but to be fair i think enchantments came out while i had this world they weren't there the whole time oh no, my god dude it's my crib get the little campfire over here that farm over there is actually like one of the last things i ever did on this world i built this water tower right here so i wouldn't lose my home if i ventured out oh there's a little cave over there that i mined out this is my farm and wait over here there's this weird tree i placed a bunch of saplings right next to each other and it made this thing i think i called it like the tree of life or something and then that torch right over there is all like the exact block that I spawned at. And then this is my house, bro. Dang. It looks like eh. And all here's my storage room. And this lava pit, I would throw all the stuff I didn't want in it. Down here looks like a new mine I was starting, but my main one's over there. Then in here's like a weird little area. Yeah, what the heck is going on? Oh, 
Wait, whoa. This kind of rings a weird bell, but where does it go? Oh, man. So this is where we did a little bit of mining. Man, this is so cool. And I had a little campfire. Well, let's go back up. There's so much more I want to see again. Okay, okay, okay. I walked past this earlier, but I knew. There's a secret door, and it's on this side. I think it's right here? Oh! Oh, oh my God. I think I know what this is. Can't believe I remembered that. Oh. Oh my God. Why did it just play that sound? Minecraft sounds are low key scary. Okay, I'm about to blow your guys' minds. So you got this chest with like everything in it for some reason. First block in front of it, secret chest. And then here's the other floors of the house. Not too bad, not too bad. And it looks like I never finished this floor. And if we come out here, we have my dock. And that achievement I was telling you guys earlier about was done right here. And judging by the amount of powered rails, I wanna say I probably duplicated the gold. And then yeah, here's this little farm. I definitely remember this being the last thing I did on this world, however many years ago. And wow, dude. Seeing this again brings back so many dang memories. I remember I used to not like, like anyone on this world either. This was just for me. And okay, before we go that way, let's go to the nether real quick. I don't think I did a lot here, but there's a few things. I think this spawn was a different one than I was thinking. So we'll just go back. But okay, first let's take the railway down here. This is my second farm. And then if we go back up, it's just gonna keep going. We go through the house and then up here and then through this little tree house I made. We got a pyramid I built before desert pyramids were even a thing. And then at the very end, we go to this castle, which was actually my dad's. But that's pretty cool to see again too. This world is so old that there wasn't a lot to decorate with. Well, that's kind of what made old Minecraft so special. So with that, I sign off one more time. But I'm so glad that I found the Xbox 360 and got to see all of this again. And if you stuck along this long, thank you so much. I would really love to do some more long videos and let me know if you have any ideas. And if you haven't already, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.